An 80-year-old Woodbridge man told police he shot his 60-year-old son in self-defense last night after his son tried to kill him. The family tragedy unfolded just before 9 in the family's home on Fullerton Road. The elderly man was questioned by detectives but wasn't arrested. Police have identified the man killed as Frank Mateo. News Force Paul Wagner has the story. Police officers responding to this house just before 9 o'clock last night got an early heads up on what they were dealing with from a county police dispatcher. Years around to the shooting, the advised caller was stating son tried to kill him. Armed with that information, officers were still leaving nothing to chance. We still have the caller on the line, he's, and he's cooperative. You have him exit the residence with his hands in the air, no weapon. Use the PA to attempt to call him out with no weapons and hands in the air. The man cooperated with police and left the house but was not arrested. He was very forthcoming with us with as far as, you know, not putting up a fight when we detained him or anything like that. Um, you know, we were able to bring him down and question him. Um, we're trying to figure out now because they were the only two that were in the residence at the time. Um, you know, was this a criminal act or was this kind of somewhat self-defense? Earlier today, standing outside his house, the man told News 4 off camera that he had to put his wife in the hospital, which angered his son. The man says he was in his bedroom when his son came at him in a threatening way, and he grabbed a gun and shot him. He said his wife still didn't know what happened, and he was on the way to the hospital to tell her. Prince William County Police say homicide detectives will now examine the evidence found inside the house to see if it matches up with what the 80-year-old man told them last night. The case will then be reviewed by the Commonwealth's attorney to see if it warrants any charges. In Prince William County, Paul Wagner, News 4.